I get it. You want to learn how to copy web pages, formatting and all, PDFs, YouTube videos, and more onto your digital notebook. You need to know how to do this easily and simply. Evernote's Web Clipper is the best tool for this. And as you use this, you will have your favorite web pages and information available in your digital notebook for you to access anytime you want. I've been using Web Clipper for six years and I'm really excited to show you how I've used it to enhance my notebook. The Web Clipper for Evernote is a browser extension that sits on the top of your toolbar of your favorite browser. This makes it possible for you to copy information from your current web page into your Evernote notebook. Okay, now let's install Web Clipper to the browser. I'm at the Chrome Web Store and I'm going to add this to Chrome. Gonna confirm. Okay, it's been installed, quick and easy. If you want a snapshot of the page that you're on, the screen capture feature is for you. Also, you can annotate those images that you copy. Let's use the screenshot feature of Web Clipper. I'm going to click on the Web Clipper icon here on the extensions bar. Here, let's choose screenshot. I want to take a snippet of this picture and let's play around with annotations. I want to point to something here. Let's highlight these texts here. Clearly, I cannot draw straight. Choose a marker to mark this here. That's for cropping. Let's zoom out. You can zoom back in. I want to see. Pixelate this. Drop a stamp here on that group of people. Say, some text. Going now, here I'm choosing the notebook in Evernote where I'm going to put this screenshot. Let's add a tag. And some text. And I'm going to click on Save Clip. And let's now view this in Evernote. Here you go. With my comment and my annotations. Cool. This is my second in a series of Evernote videos. To see my first one, check this one out after finishing this video. Here is a cool feature of Web Clipper. It knows what type of page you're on. You could be on a simple web page with plain text, or you could be on a YouTube video or a PDF. Web Clipper knows and will adjust the way it captures the information into the digital notebook. Okay, let's see how the Web Clipper works with a PDF. Here I am looking at a marathon plan and it's in PDF form and I want to save this to my notebook in Evernote. I'm going to go back to the extension bar, click on Evernote. And here you can see that it detected that this is a PDF and it already knows how to treat it. So I'm just going to go back to my collections folder. Let's add a tag, Marathon, training plan. So Marathon was already a tag that existed in my notebook. I just created the training plan tag. So this is a cool feature. You can actually create your a new tag right from here. You can also create a new notebook. I've already created collections, so I don't need to create one now. But anyway, here we go. Here is my training plan. I put a little comment and I'm going to save this now. Let's view it in Evernote. And here's a training plan. Let's see how the web clipper works on YouTube. Here again, I'm going to click on that icon on the browser 
and wow, right here, it detected that we are on YouTube and it brought up this page, very custom. Let's save it. Video, creating a new tag. I'm gonna save this clip. Let's go ahead and view this. Beautiful, and here's a tag. It's in the correct notebook. There you go. Here I'm on a great blog post by Michael Hyatt on how he organizes in Evernote. I wanna save this, but this time I don't wanna just save the whole article. I don't wanna do a screenshot. I'm gonna do a bookmark. And this is what it looked like. The bookmark goes and pulls up the meta description and pulls it into here. It has the tag here and it has the title up there. So it's nice and pretty. Let's put this again in our collections. this Evernote tag and I'm going to save this and let's view it in Evernote. Here you save the bookmark. Before we move on to the feature I use the most, please remember to give a thumbs up on this video so YouTube knows to recommend this video to others. The article and the simplified article options are the ones that I use the most. There is a full text feature but I prefer not to use it as it does not strip out the ads and the menus on web pages. And I don't want to save that into my Evernote notebook. Let's now see how Web Clipper works with the regular web page. Here we go. We've got um, a recipe that I want to save. Full page. I have yet to use this feature because it takes everything that's on the screen. And it's just too much noise for me. If I click on articles, I can actually adjust. I'm gonna hit the minus sign here and watch the screen. I actually stripped out the menu here. So there's a little bit more customization that you can do here. I can make it so it only saves the title. So I'm not sure why I would do that. So we can use this if we wanted to. Here is what simplified article looks like. This usually looks pretty nice. All stripped down, menus, ads, all gone really the meat of what you want. Let's save this. I just want to go back here and show you something. When I clicked on this, Evernote was smart enough to know that this was a recipe and it goes to the family favorites. That's usually where I do it, or I would have selected a different one. No, actually, this is to try because I haven't tried this before. And it's smart enough to know that this is a breakfast that needs a breakfast tag and let's see, eggs. I'm gonna add eggs tag. Let's do that saving again. Yeah, I've got it twice. But I wanted to show you how it, Evernote was smart enough to choose a tag and the notebook that was correct. Now I'm gonna go and delete this guy. Now we have a note that we wanted to keep. There you go. So nine times out of 10, I'm using the Web Clipper for recipes. I just like to save recipes and I'm always in, uh, interested in trying something new and seeing what my family likes. Well, here's one recipe in the Pinch of Yum website. And I know that I can scroll all the way down to the actual recipe and here's my trick. I click on print recipe to make the information ad free. And this is the way I like to save it in the Evernote. Simplified article is nice. That will work. But I like to use article because it'll give me a little pretty picture uh, to save with the recipe. And, oh, and I have not done this, tried this before. So I'm going to put in recipes to try. It's already saying meal and... This is a vegetarian meal, so let's put that in there as well. Save this clip and view whenever I know. Here, I like that where the little image comes up here when I'm trying to go scroll through my list and the recipe is nice and pretty and in a great format that I like. And there you go. So there you have it. All the great features of Evernote Web Clipper. If you want to get started, use the link in the description below. Also, please do me a favor and comment below with the feature that you liked most from this video. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. 
Don't, and also subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can get updates of future videos from me.